if you have a, a superhero narrative, you have to have the struggle and then come out of that and then they become like the superhero person. And so what's a David's struggle? Being a poopy in his David David is so cool. He's like the coolest dude. He is. Uh, but potty training him has been a journey. <laughs> potty training has been a journey. And, 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 An ongoing and going. Maybe it's not maybe it's not all that weird, but I think uh, I think the biggest problem with potty training David is that he's getting potty he gets trained. He's so focused. Yeah, he's he's gotten potty trained pretty well. He got to a point where like he was good. But I think in that same season of life he was introduced to uh, video entertainment, games, the Nintendo Switch is the the hot thing right now for uh, anyone getting into video games, yeah. so it's like he loves that super he'll, he'll get in the zone enough that, that he forgets that his body is functioning behind those eyeballs. Yeah. And that it requires maintenance. That was a hard thing for a while, so what I decided was that he could play the Switch if he was sitting on the toilet. And that works pretty well. And that gave him good incentive. He hasn't had an accident in a long time. He almost had one today. He almost had one today. P. He almost peed his pants today. What was he doing? He was playing toys. He wasn't doing. He wasn't watching a show or anything. He just forgot. He just forgot. That's it. He gets in the zone. He just gets so focused. But yeah. And then he will like wake up and be like, "Oh shit, I have to pee." Yeah. And then it's like coming out of his body as he's running to the bathroom and screaming, <laughs> "I have to pee! I have to pee! I have to pee!" Yeah. Well, I'm kind of glad that he gets in the zone because. Uh, that could that could have some redeeming things yeah. in the future. Yeah. Um, but I think right now we we still are kind of required to coach him about uh, not forgetting to take care of himself. Yeah, he's, he's been regulating himself pretty well though lately. He's been like going. Well, you got a tool that is the potty watch. The potty watch. The potty watch. <laughs> And uh, so that goes off every hour, hour and a half, whatever you set uh, it to. I set it to an hour and a half, but I actually didn't use it today because I charged it today. I don't think you've been using it lately. I have not used it in a few days, but I'm probably looking to use it tomorrow. Okay. Just get back on do it. Do you think that has helped? Or do yes. You... It helps especially on days that I know that I'm not going to be like super present with him all the time. Uh just to remind him to go, but then he always tries to like cover it. When it starts going off, he's like, "What?" Yeah, I've he'll, like, never cover, seen like, him do cover, it. Like, this, really this. and he'll just be like, "Like, I look around know. to see if like anybody knows." <laughs> what a guy! He'll like look at me, and be like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "What's that sound?" He's like, hmm, "I don't know." What a dude! He's a dude. He's a dude. He tries to cover up the fact that he has to go to the bathroom. He doesn't want to miss. He has serious FOMO. 